Well, and I realized listening to your presentation, Joe, that uh, I did get this idea in part from watching yours last year when you were showing the physical exam. And I had so many people tell me how much they liked that, that I thought it would be interesting to do a physical exam. But in addition, now, can we turn on the... Um, in addition, I'm going to tell you a story about a hero. This is truly a hero story. It fits with everything in that it's a case report. And this, I believe, I build as um, a combination of dermatology and neurology. And I'm only doing neurology. So our hero is Dr. Robert April, who rescued a patient from death. And I learned about him from an essay he wrote that came my way, which is called The Romance of Clinical Neurology. So bear with me while I try to get my desktop in order here. So, this is also a case report, and it is about a 45-year-old CEO, and probably any of you who have treated Lyme for a long time have heard these stories, but this is a remarkable story. About a month after he came back from a hunting trip in New Jersey, he woke up one morning and everything hurt. He said he was on fire, he couldn't walk, he was stiff, he hobbled out of bed, and it didn't go away. He got sweats, he got chills, he got fevers. Um, he developed a myalgia, he thought he had the flu. He was kind of Superman, he could carry, you know, deer out of places, and he, he 245 pounds, six foot five, and you know, he waited for it to go away. It didn't go away, so he went in to get tested. And naturally, Lyme was considered. He was a hunter, he lived in New Jersey, he was hunting in New Jersey, and his Eliza was negative. So they told him he didn't have Lyme. And what happened over the next few months is he was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. There was no rheumatoid factor. He had x-rays, there was no deformity in the joints in the x-rays. Um, there was no true rheumatoid-like swelling in his joints, but they diagnosed him with that and put him on prednisone. Very briefly, he improved. He said for about a week and a half, he felt better, and then he got worse. So they gave him Humira, and he got worse. And they gave him Embrel, and he got worse. And they gave him Rituximab. They killed all his B cells, and he got worse. By the time our hero, Dr. April, was called in to see him. It was 17 months after the onset of his disease. He was in the hospital. His wife told me he would have seizures and break the arms of the hospital bed from pain. And she was told that he not him to come home because they, they really didn't think he was going to make it. 